These are some thoughts that I wanted to share with you, especially with the younger generation here, just to illustrate that there's a lot to think about in Allah's book. You know, there's a lot to reflect in this deen. A lot to understand, a lot to grasp. And if we begin to be, become people who tr deeply, truly understand the Book of Allah, then we will be in a better position to act on the Book of Allah. If you want to act on the Book of Allah, you first have to understand the Book of Allah. If you don't have a good understanding, you're not going to have a good action. <laughs> you're not going to have good, good implementation of Allah's Book. And this book is not like a magazine. It's not like a, an article or a blog. You can't just read it just like this and I, got, I get it, I get it. أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنِ Don't they reflect deeply on the Qur'an? Every ayah you have to think about it, you have to ponder over it, you have to study it, you have to dive in like you're diving into an ocean, and then you will get the wisdom that you can act on. You can't just casually browse through it. It's not a casual read. You can't skim through the Qur'an to get its treasure. You understand that? We unfortunately today, we have a very shallow appreciation of the Qur'an. We have to change that in our culture. We have to become a culture of people that celebrate tadabbur in the Qur'an, tafakkur in the Qur'an, ta'allum of the Qur'an, studying tafsir of the Qur'an in depth, studying its language in depth, understanding it and pondering over it and discussing it in depth, so that we can all act on it in the way that we're supposed to act on it. That is my dua for this ummah. That, that may Allah Azza wa really make us a people that are connected with His book the way we're supposed to be connected. That understand it in the most pure, the most refined way, in the way it was supposed to be understood.